So we're going to start with St George's visor, so a kite shape on its side. With a little round circle as a hinge. And then a line across and some little gaps for him to see through. Next for the helmet we want a balloon shape, so up and around. Down and out, and round and join those bits together. Next we can add a little plume at the top and then a big feather swooping out to the side. And add a few little squiggles in the middle. For a shield we want a diagonal and then down to a point and join that up. And then we can add with St George's Cross in the middle. Next, if we come out to the left, and draw his shoulder, a little round circle, and then his belly, down and across and back up behind the shield. And then we can add another curve down the middle. Next if we come out, back in, down, cross, and join those two. You can feel this bit of his armour with lots of little lines across. And we can come up to the corner, go down, back up at the top of his leg, do his knee, then the lower leg, down and across and join those, and then a big swoop to the left for his long pointy shoes, back and join, and fill that with lots of little lines. And then at the end, just a little star for his spurs. If we come back to the top of the shoulder and draw a rectangle out to the left, add a bit for his elbow, as we did with the knee, then another rectangle going down a bit, line across with the top of the glove, down out for the thumb, and then four bumps for the fingers. Join those up and join the bottom of the glove again. Next we want to come out a couple of centimetres to the left, about in line with the visor. And come big swoosh down to the right, down behind the elbow and joined up to the top of his legs. And this will be the top of the horse's neck. Next we can add two little ears, join those, and a long line going down at an angle at the front of the horse's face. Bring that in and then up again, big semicircle for where the eye will sit, and then fill that with lots of little lines. This is the horse's armour. can fill the eye in there, in that little gap we left earlier. And then come back down to the bottom of the head, out, back in, and come back down and do the nose and mouth, a little squiggle and put in a nostril. Next we can add a little circle. And then a line coming from that to the bottom of the hand, underneath, and around the back of the neck. And then on the lower bit, lots of little zigzags. A fancy set of reins. Back up 
to the horse's neck. Down, behind the reins. Down and out, about in line with the foot of St George. Then a big squiggly line, as if the, the cloth the horse is wearing. Out all the way. And then the cloth over the horse's bum. And down and join that squiggly line at the bottom. And then we can come out with the tail. Big swoosh. Another big swoosh underneath. And join those two with a squiggly line. And we can add a few little lines in between. A few stray hairs. And two little curves for the saddle. And we can add some little swooshes, some little folds of the horse's cloth. Horse's front legs come out, down, and back in. Do the same again. And then join those two and add a little hoof. Then for the other one, come up a bit higher. Out and down. Bottom of the hoof. And up and back in. And we can put the line across there and then for the top of the dragon's head we want a curve that comes up and finishes about in line with the horse's nose and then a little line down for his snout and then we can do a bit of a grimace top of his mouth and then a big swoosh coming out to the right and another one below can join those to give him a forked tongue. We can add two little nostrils, two fangs, sharp teeth, big round eye, again that unhappy mouth behind the tongue, back down behind the chin, and we can give them a sort of a little ear to the left, out and back in, and a little frill, and join that, and then give him a horn on the top of his nose. Next we can go back to his chin, give him a long neck with a big swoop down, around, behind the horse's leg and underneath the cloth. And then do the same again the other side, down and round, and then there. Then we can do his arm, so a line coming down. Put a little claw on the end, and then a line going out to the right, to the tip of his wing. So another line coming down to complete the arm, then join that going across to the right to do the wing tip. And then we can do some little semicircles to do the wing itself way along and join the wing tip. Maybe add some lines just to give a bit of detail. And we can do the other arm. So the same again. Down for a little claw. And then a line across for the wing tip. This time hiding behind the arm in front make that arm thick and then the wing tip there and add a few lines of detail for the wing itself. Next we want to come up halfway up the horse's bum a big swooping line 
big swoosh all the way down for the tail. Do the same again. Come down. And then we want to finish the tail in a big point. So we'll do like a, an arrow at the bottom of the tail. Then we want to do the horse's other legs. So come down in a bit across the bottom of the hoof, up, back under the cloth, again add a little line across for the hoof, and the same again for the other one, and then out, back in and underneath, and the line across again. Then we can do the dragon's back leg. So out, round, semicircle, and then little claw at the bottom, and then come back in, tucked behind the horse's hoof, and then the dragon's belly to join that little gap there. And then you can go ahead and add a few scales all across the dragon itself. Then for St George's Lance, on a thick diagonal line coming down from his hand all the way across into the dragon's neck. And we can add a gloopy bit of blood. It's a bit gruesome. And then the top of his lance tucked in behind his body. And then the bottom of the lance coming behind the dragon's neck and ending in a, a spear tip. We can add a wavy line going down with a jagged zigzag going back up for a little flag. And finally, it wouldn't be a dragon without a big flame coming from his nostrils. And that is St. George and the Dragon. We're going to speed the colouring up here, but you can take your time at home. 